hey guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another story time video no guys this story time is not going to be anything like you're used to but nevertheless i hope you enjoy it just the same if you're new here my name is crystal this is travel with crystal where i share travel vlogs story times product reviews and more with that said hit the subscription button and enjoy the story so i know we all have a good friend right but have you ever had a best friend or a good friend of the opposite sex let me know in the comments like if you're a male do you have a female best friend and for the females do you or have you ever had a male best friend well, this story time is about a really good friend that I had. I'm gonna call my male friend Red Cherry. No, Red Cherry was almost like a best friend. And unfortunately, Red Cherry is no longer here. I call him Red Cherry because he usually drives this Red Cherry car. No, once upon a time, way back then i went to sleep and guys i don't know if this has happened to any one of you but if it has let me know in the comments i don't like to go to my bed and dream about persons right as a matter of fact i am not a dreamer now i went to my bed and i dreamt of red cherry in my dream red cherry had long hair but in reality he didn't even though he was an indian in my dream, Richard had long hair and I saw myself in the dream so I could see myself standing in the dream. And someone had Richard by his hair and they were just cutting, chopping, whatever you want to call it at him, right? I'm trying to make it not so graphic. Anyways, I could see myself in my dream screaming, somebody help him, you're gonna let them kill him, somebody please help but no one was helping, right? And then I jumped out of my dream and I'm like, what kind of dream is this? Now, I'm the type of person, if I have a bad dream, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna pray about it and I'm gonna be like, Heavenly Father, please take away this bad dream. Don't let this happen, stuff like that. But the dream was very clear because it was Red Cherry. So I remember calling Red Cherry the next day and I'm like, Red Cherry, what's up? Everything all right on your end? And he was like, yeah, Chris, everything good. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I have this bad dream. I don't want to scare you, but this is how the dream went. And I explained the dream to Ray Cherry. Ray Cherry is like, all right, don't worry yourself. Some stuff going on, but I'm going to be careful nevertheless. Months went by and, you know, me and Ray Cherry being friends the same way. We just laugh, talk whenever we link up or we chill with our other mutual friends until one december guys i will never forget because i was getting ready for my birthday no neither red cherry or i lived in spanish town but this particular night we were both in spanish town for some strange reason i was there getting my hair done because every female know what i'm talking about when i say anywhere the bad hairstylist is that's where we're gonna end up right so i leave kingston and find my merry little way in Spanish town. Now while I'm there, I saw a red cherry vehicle swoop past. So immediately I'm like, no, I know that red cherry color is not that popular. So you know what? Picked up my phone and I called red cherry. So I said, red cherry, is you that must have just fly past me? And he's like, where are you, Chris? And I said, I'm in Spanish town, you know? And he's like, Spanish town, yeah, then I'm me, you see? So I'm like, no man red cherry so he's like where you at so i said okay you know the blue and white house that you just passed on your left and i'm explaining to him so he's like yeah red cherry bus a reverse now stopped at the hair stylist gate and i went to him so i'm like red cherry where you at a spanish stone can you not live a spanish stone so red cherry was like hmm i mean if i ask you that question because you don't live here either so I'm like, well, tomorrow is my birthday, as you know, so I'm getting ready for my birthday. So Red Cherry's like, okay, cool, say less. You have a simmer for your birthday. And I'm like, Red Cherry, be careful. You see the hours of the night is after 11 now, you know. Remember the dream that I had? And Red Cherry looked me in my eyes, guys, and he said, Chris, 
no worry yourself, my nah did. You have a similar for your birthday. And I think that's what hurt the most, to be honest. Anyways, my birthday come. You know you don't pay attention who tell you happy birthday from who you see and who you don't see because it's your birthday, you have a lot going on for the day, right? Whether you're working on your birthday or not, you had a lot going on. So I'm not paying any attention. Went through my birthday. Everything was fine. No, it was about 2 a.m. in the morning. So nowhere at the day after my birthday, right? When I got a call from one of our mutual friends, they're like, Chris, your ears are right, you're dead. And I'm like, I joke here, yeah, mate, man. And our mutual friends said, no, I'm right, you're dead for real. So I'm saying, no, I'm going to call you back. No, guys, I'm one of those persons. If you could just go and drop those news on me like that, it's hard for me to believe. So, of course, I took up my phone, dial up Red Cherry, calling Red Cherry. The phone rang, 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 rang. No answer. And I'm like, shoot, why not answer? Then our mutual friend called back and said, Chris, I'm on the scene, you know. We can see you call the man phone, you know. The man dead for real. I mean, I said, John, what's that? I don't think I sleep for the rest of that morning because I still couldn't believe it, right? It was the day before the funeral and they're keeping the setup and we go there and they're giving out the buttons. Guys, this is where reality hits. Because remember, you know, Red Cherry looked at me and said, Chris, my nah daddy have a similar for your birthday. And I mean, even though this didn't make things better, the fact that or the thought that he died the day after my birthday hurt. But this is what really, really hurt to know that I had the dream about Red Cherry months ago. And then on that particular night when I got the button and I looked at the button, I saw that he actually died the day of my birthday. Like, that's the worst feeling ever. I cried, his girlfriend hugging me and she's like, Chris, just calm down. And I'm like, no, because me see all of this. Me see all of this coming. Me talk to him. Me tell him the dream. Him tell me him nah dead. And I was just like, the worst. You understand? Because I cherish my friendships. And I take them very seriously. Like, if you do me something and somebody are my friend. And you do my friend something, trust me. I all of you do something. Right? So, I take my friendships very seriously. So, of course, my, my cut to the core right and he was like the very first male best friend i ever had or i like a male best friend so i was torn up about it anyways you guys know this is travel with crystal and i travel a lot so i was not in jamaica for the funeral anyways i missed the funeral so i never saw anything no happenings the funeral went by and months later i had another dream now i again this was the only time I've had that kind of dream where I'm seeing myself, I'm looking at myself in the dream. So I can't hear what myself in the dream is saying, but I can see all the actions. So in the dream, I saw the male figure and it turns out that the male figure was Red Cherry. Now, from what I was seeing in the dream, I was trying to turn and talk to Red Cherry. I was trying to face him. He would not let me look at him any at all, right? And I was wondering why, why I can't face you? Why I can't see you? But then I saw in the dream where he stood, turn his back and he's talking. He's not letting me see his face. So I'm standing behind talking. And then I remember watching him walk off and then just faded, like disappeared. And from that day till this day, I've never had another dream about Red Cherry. And I analyze it as, so let me know what you guys think, too, but this is what I analyze it as. I analyze it as Red Cherry coming to say goodbye, right? Because remember, you know, his last words were, Chris, my nah dead. You have a semi for your birthday. And I did not see him for my birthday, right? And I wasn't there for the funeral. So I had a dream and it was like he was trying to say goodbye or said goodbye in the dream. Now, guys, the fact that he didn't want me to face him raised some concerns for me. So I called up our mutual friend and I said, friend, was something wrong with Red Cherry's face? So our mutual friend said, Chris, 
how you know that you never did a funeral and nobody ever said this anywhere at all, right? Because remember, I wasn't there at the scene of whatever happened, right? And um, I wasn't at the funeral. So they're like, no man, you're sure so somebody that said something to you? And I'm like, no, I had another dream and this is how the dream went. And I'm explaining the dream. Our mutual friend said, Chris, you know, with the whole accident that happened, it disfigured this part of his face for real and X, Y, Z and the mutual friend there. I won't explain in details because like I said, it was graphic and I'm just trying to keep it subtle for you guys. So our mutual friend said, I can't believe your dream's so solid. And I'm like, yeah, because he didn't die of somebody chopping him, but it was a graphic death. And the side that I saw somebody chopping him on was the same side that whatever happened, happened. And it affected his face. And I could pick up all of that from my dream. So you know our mutual friend always like, Chris, me know why you got your big good dream about me, you know? But guys, I don't I don't know if it was God trying to show me something or I really can't explain it, but that wasn't the first time I've had a dream. Well, that was the first time I had a dream like that. But I've had dreams after that where I've seen persons. It wasn't the actual person, but it was close and it turned out similar. Thank God it wasn't anything that bad or that tragic, right? It was still sad but not tragic. But I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to make of all of this. But if you're watching and you have experienced anything like this, let me know. Because for the longest time, I I was wondering what was wrong. But then now, whenever I have those dreams, which is not very often, thank God, because I can't deal. I would just pray about it and I'm like, Lord, help me to understand what you want me to understand. And that's just me. I just pray about everything these days, right? But... I mean that was very that was very sad and um that's how I lost a friend. A really really good friend and I hope nothing like that ever happens again. And I mean I cherish and love all of my friends. So guys, if I just so overprotective it's for these reasons, right? And like I said guys from that day and that was over ten years ago till this very day i have never ever ever had another dream about red cherry and i really and strongly believe that he just came to say goodbye and i'm okay with that i'm okay with that i mean it took me a while to get close to friends again but then i'm okay with that and this is why i cherish friendships and relationships so dearly because I really don't know how to cope with losing anybody because that was very difficult for me. But that's it guys. I've reached the end of my story. Thanks for sticking to the end as always. I hope you enjoyed this one even though it wasn't the happy ones like you're used to. And I'll see you in the next story time. Bye.